Hey everybody, I am here today because I woke up today with this thought in my head that today was going to be my go big day and then I decided that it will be our go big day. And what do I mean by go big day? Well, you know, it just came to me. So look, I had to write it down on my little papers <laughs> as um, I was going through my thoughts because um, I didn't want to get jumbled up, which I tend to do. But, you know, the one thing I realized about myself is that I tend to try and wait until I have like everything perfect. And I realized that it's never going to be perfect. I'm always going to be tweaking. I'm always going to be trying to make it better. So I guess it's best that I go ahead and um, get my product out there. So today I'm imploring all of you to bring your gifts, your talents, and your passions out of the secret service. That's right. Only you know about your gifts and talents because you're waiting until everything is fabulous before you unleash them on the world. Well, guess what? Your one thing that you're absolutely fabulous at is ready right now. So what are you going to do? You're going to go ahead today. You're going to make a declaration that you are going to move forward in whatever that thing is. So let's talk about the one thing. What is your one thing? Everybody has a gift, first of all. Um, everybody has a talent. Everybody has something they're passionate about, something that they love, something they enjoy. So here's, here's a way that you can kind of figure out if you don't know. What is it that you find yourself constantly talking about in just about every conversation, what does it lead to? What do you talk about incessantly day and night if somebody encounters you? What is the one thing that you want to share your wisdom about? Um, usually that's the thing that you're most passionate about. Now for me, that would be entrepreneurship and, um, you know, creating wealth and creating your own economy. Like that's what I love. All my clients know um, if you give me a half a chance, uh, I'm going to talk about entrepreneurship. I'm going to talk about, um, you know, thinking different, being different. And um, that's just what I love. So what is that thing for you? You got to figure out what that thing is. What is it that if somebody woke you up at three o'clock in the morning, you could just go on and on and on talking about um, without having to look anything up. It's just in here and in here. What is that thing? That's your one thing. So what you're going to do with that one thing is you're going to create something. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it is a blog post. I don't care if it's a video that you put on Facebook, a Facebook Live, a YouTube video, um, an email, um, uh, a podcast, a webinar. Even if you put up a post that today is your go live day today, I'm going to share with the world what my gift is what I add to the world, what value, what problem can I solve for my people? Like really, that's what your one thing is. It is some um, solution that you offer to the world. So what is that thing? So how do you um, go about doing it? It's very simple. You know, a YouTube channel, it only take you about 45, okay, not 45 seconds, probably like two minutes to set up. You just get in front of your phone and you can just create a video. If you don't wanna be on the video, no problem. You can create a PowerPoint. And you could do a voiceover or you could just let the PowerPoint speak. Don't be limited by not wanting to be seen. Okay, so get busy with your one thing. Um, and here's the thing. Don't wait until it's perfect. It's never going to be perfect. You're always going to be thinking you don't know enough. You're, you're thinking people are not going to take you seriously. You're thinking um, they're just going to look at me like oh, she's corny. What does she know? But here's the thing. Everybody is infused with something. Everybody's infused with some knowledge. Everyone has something that other people can benefit from. So don't let your fear or your lack of confidence in yourself stop you from um, moving forward. And then the other thing is comparing yourself. Be careful not to compare yourself with other people. Um, and I know it's hard because you're like, oh, wow, they look polished. Oh, wow, look at that background. Oh, wow, she's all made up. Um, I don't know if I could compete. You're not competing, okay? You are doing what you were born to do. That's what you have to remember. So you want to be yourself. If you're funny, be funny. If you have a dry wit like me, I'm sarcastic. Uh, you know, that's, that's just who I am. Don't try to emulate anybody. Just be yourself because whoever is attracted to you 
and your message is going to be attracted to you and your message. So don't worry about trying to be like anybody, just be like you. Because here's the thing, the signal that you put out, somebody is looking for that signal. Somebody is looking to be attracted to that. So you can't go out being somebody that you're not. Just go ahead and be yourself, it's fine. Love yourself. <laughs> and now here is another thing. You have to write out your goals, your life goals. Now I know that sounds corny and I almost really didn't want to say it, but it really is true. It's kind of like, how can you know the quickest way to your destination unless you have out written out your goals? It's like, if you were going to South Carolina, you could get in a car and you could drive and drive and drive, and maybe eventually you would get to South Carolina. But what if you had a map where you could see what roads go down, turn here, turn there, excuse me, or you could put in the GPS what your destination is and then every movement that you make will be moving towards that destination and it's the same thing with a goal you have your goals written down so your goal is here so every action that you take is in line with achieving that goal when you don't have your goals written down you just haphazardly going through life and maybe you will eventually get there because it's kind of up here it's kind of up here loosely but you don't have it in detail if you detail it Write down everything that you want to be, do, experience, how much money you want to make, who you want to affect, if you want to be in front of a crowd, if you want to be in the back, whatever you want to be doing, write it all out, make it plain, and then you can have um, something to follow. And let everything that you do be in line with where it is you want to go. That will shave so many years off of um, just aimlessly wandering through life. You'll actually get to your success goal um, a lot faster. And now here's the thing, some people don't know their purpose. Now, if you're one of those people who don't know your purpose, know that nobody can tell you what that purpose is. That's something that's inside of you. Um, we can maybe help you try and figure out how to go inside and figure it out, but we can't really tell you what it is. So what you have to do is you have to go within. You have to take inventory of yourself, um, inventory of your passions, and if you believe in God, I believe in God. I believe that if you ask God to illuminate to you what those things are that he would have you to do, why he created you, why you're here, who should you affect, how should your life um, affect other people, how do you use your life, how do you use your gifts, how do you use your talents. And the other thing that I always like to add is, you know, make it clear to me that I know that it's you that's speaking to me so that I can hear your voice and not follow a stranger's voice. And a lot of times you really do kind of know, but you're just not really um, in tune with it or you're not really sure, um, and that's okay. But if you go within, trust me, if you, you have not because you ask not. <laughs> um, the Bible doesn't say you have not because you think not. It says you have not because you ask not. So ask the question. When you ask a question, that's when you get an answer. So if you haven't asked, go ahead and ask the question. Now, if you have a vision, you have a dream, you have a goal, but you don't know how to move forward with it, now that's something different. Um, you um, can read some self-help uh, mag uh, magazines. <laughs> you can read some self-help books. You can uh, YouTube anything. You could Google search anything. And um, certainly, you could chat with me. You could go onto my webpage and angelfitch.com, get on my calendar. I can talk to you. I can help you uh, create like a blueprint for how to go from where you are now to where you want to be. It's totally free. Um, I would just love to be able to help you, be a blessing to you and help you move further along because something that you have inside of you is waiting out here and um, I want you to get it out there. Um, and the other thing is, know this, and this is so true, unfortunately, you know, most of the people that you know are not gonna support you most of the people that you know are not going to believe in you. Most of your family, most of your friends, probably everybody in your, 98% of your Facebook friends are going to ignore any post that you put up about your business because that's, for whatever reason, the way people are designed. So don't let that bother you. When I created, I just created this Facebook page. I didn't tell anybody about it. I just created it. And I was just sort of, you know, playing around with um, putting posts up and different things like that. And a couple of my friends, three, 
<laughs> actually liked it without me even asking. Okay, so I want to give a shout out to uh, David, Marcus, and Cornelia. I appreciate you guys for liking my page because that lets me know that you're a true supporter. Because my other 1,500 friends that I have on my Facebook page, I'm sure at least 800 of them saw that I created the page and none of them liked my page. And that's okay, you know, eventually they'll come around. So you just have to know from the beginning that most people are not going to support you. So it is what it is. But don't let that stop you. And, you know, sometimes I feel like I don't really want to move forward for the same reason because I'm just like, ugh. I know they're going to be looking at me with the side eye, but really my gift is not about um, them. My gift is about those who I'm meant to serve. So they'll give me the side eye and whatever. But then, you know, today I had another thought. I was like, what if, what if those people who don't support you outwardly, what if they always knew that you had it in you, but didn't tell you? And you're over here not doing something because you think they're going to think something of you when they really did think something of you. They thought something great of you, but they just didn't tell you. So in other words, brush them off. Don't worry. They're irrelevant, okay? There are people out there that need you. And we need you to go ahead and get in gear, get out of Secret Service, put your gifts out there, put your talents out there, go on the record, let the universe know that you have arrived, that today is your go day. So let's see, do I have anything else that I wanted to share? I think that's really it. Um, I think the thing that I just really want you to recognize is that it's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be a great time. I am an introvert. I know it may seem hard to believe, but I really am an introvert, which is the reason why I never put up a video. I never wanted to have a page under my name because I just didn't want people to, I don't know, see me for whatever my you know reasons are. But I recognize that my gift inside is more important to the world than my um, personal thoughts about myself and my shortcomings, my perceived shortcomings, because obviously God gave me whatever he gave me and he gave it to me for a reason. So I had to go outside of myself and do what I know I'm supposed to do. And that's kind of what I'm hoping that I'll spark in you. So that's all I have. Um, if you are so inclined, as much as I don't know if I really want you to do it, um, you know, Angel doesn't know if she wants you to do it, but Angel Fitch Consulting knows it needs to be done. If you would share this video either on your page or if you know someone who might actually need this message, you can share it via messenger to a direct person um, just to give them a little bit of encouragement, just to, you know, be a little spark in their life, just to make them feel like, you know what, wow, I really can do it. You really don't need a whole bunch of things. Look, you just need your little notes on the sheet of paper and your phone and you can just go ahead and create a video. And you never know how anything that you say affects someone. And one of the things that I love, you know, when my clients come to me and they're like, you know, you told me to do X, Y, and Z, and I did it. And, you know, I'm so happy that I did because I got this client, that client, you know, or this job or that job. And it just makes me feel good. I love to connect people. And I love to, you know, see that sparkle in people's eyes when you just share a piece of information that they never really, like, wow, I never really thought of it that way. So anyway, I'm going off my um, bandwagon. That's all I have. You know, share my video if you feel so inclined. I greatly appreciate it. And I want you to write down in the comments what you did big today. For me, my go big was doing this video. I really didn't want to do it, but I knew I had to do it. I had to go outside of myself. And so I did. So what did you do? Hmm. How did you affect the world today? Because that's really why you're here. You're not here to go to work and pay bills. You're here to affect the world. So get out there and do what you are meant to do. That's all I got. Peace.